Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Tribe. I'm bringing you guys another episode of our Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you guys are hyped for this episode, let's see you guys hit 1,000 likes and show some love for this epic, epic fan made game. It has been an absolute blast, guys. I'm really excited to continue. I do want to apologize. I didn't get you guys an episode yesterday. I had some kind of life stuff happen that I can't really get into, but it was it was pretty rough, and I probably shouldn't even be recording today, but it's okay, man. I know I missed an episode, a couple episodes for you guys, and I wanted to make sure I kind of get you guys this episode here so we should hopefully have smooth sailing here from here on out uh grinding montages at the end as always I did some grinding last night and i trained up the team just a little bit i got back her up a level a couple pokemon just a level but the big thing i got was after just two pikachus which you'll see in the grinding montage which by the way you should totally watch it there was a period in time where i was trying to train up a metapod to get compound eyes and i got stuck against a diglet and it's like 50 turns it's it's really really brutal i wanted to poke my eyes out with a fork but we got the light ball on our pikachu after just two pikachus with the compound eyes that made me pretty excited because his attack stats get doubled. So to put that into perspective, his attack is now 50, his special attack is 46. Now compare that to the rest of the team, it's almost as strong as Kadabra. Uh, and it will be actually once I hit one more level probably. So that's just how strong Par Sparky is. Uh, obviously very frail, but still really good. Now you guys also suggested I grab those fossils in the cave. I went and grabbed that as well in the grinding montage. I didn't feel the need to show you that stuff. So we're going to keep it moving here. We're going to go to the trainer school, which is where this tournament is supposed to shake down pretty sure and our question today is what is your favorite held item now that I got the light bulb you guys could let me know that and uh, this guy was supposed to find the girl I, I found her already though I found her but anyway let's just let's just go in here I guess because that's what we're supposed to do apparently uh, so let's we're gonna end this tournament dude I'm really nervous about it hurry up are you gonna join or not I I will join I will join who do I talk to to join do I talk to the the lady here uh, a drive right thanks for finding Nora for me now that you're here we could finally get this tournament started all right, looks like I'm about to join, guys. Really nervous about this because I don't know how well it's going to go, but uh, we're going to get this tournament started here. Welcome, students. I hope you're ready for one of the biggest tournaments we've had yet. We have two new students from Tainor Town, Damien and A-Drive. I think we're excited to see how well they do. Let's begin. Best of luck. We have eight very eager students ready to compete for the title of champion. Let's have a look. So it looks like I'm facing Kyle. Then I'll face either Toby or Damien, and then we're going to face off against uh, Tamara, Nora, Simon, or Daniela. <laughs> So that looks like our bracket here. So Kyle is our first opponent. He's a ninja boy. He's got a Riolu to kick things off now. I'm gonna leave with Sparky. I'm a little nervous because I think I could take a hit. I'm gonna go with the Thundershock. We'll go for Quick Attack. We might get a Para here, which could be nice. Um, we actually do a good amount of damage and I think I could take one more Quick Attack and we do. So I'm gonna be able to knock out the Riolu here pretty easily, which I will take. And we get some good experience there. What else you got here? Now, I don't know if it's going to heal me between battles. That's something I definitely want to know. But I'm going to switch out here. We're going to go to Batgirl. Uh, Batgirl's really good against Fighting-type Pokemon, obviously. And we shouldn't have too many issues just wing attacking this thing. He's going to fake out anyway. So I do hope it heals between, um, between like, battles. Because if not, that's going to make this tournament pretty tough. I'm not going to lie. Uh, especially since I'll have to, like, switch out Pikachu and stuff. But I guess we'll find out. Let's go for the Astonish here and finish this little dude off. And there goes Tyrogue. So not too bad there. I think they gotta heal us, right? <laughs> they gotta heal us up. I hope so, man. I don't want to have to be switching out. But we beat the first guy pretty easily. The stadium's getting heated up and the contestants are on fire. Let's turn our attention back to the scoreboard for the results. Ah, oh, looks like we're taking on Damien. And he's got uh, the starter Pokemon. Which one does he have? If we had Bulbasaur, that means he has... I don't know. He's got a Luxio, though. Level 16. I got Sparky. And Sparky is healed, so that's good to know. I'm glad that we got healed. Um, I have to switch out, though, because I really can't do too much to him. Um, I could go Ruby, which might not be a terrible idea just because I'm super bulky. So let's go Ruby. Sparky's not going to have the best matchup against Alexio, so I'd rather just kind of play it safe. Go with Ruby here. Uh, what I can do is I can go for a Struggle Bug. He's going to Leer. I wish I Encore. That'd be awesome. But we'll go for the Struggle Bug here. We're just going to reduce his special attack. Doesn't really do too much. I can also wrap, actually. Let's see how much his spark does. He gets a para, which is a bit annoying. I go for the wrap. Does a good amount of damage. I don't know if I can use items or not. Let's take a look. If I can, I'll probably try to heal it off. Uh, does it let me use items? Let's see here. I don't have any way to heal paralysis, so that's going to be a bit annoying. But I can struggle bug anyway. And his spark is doing a good amount, but not enough to, like, really concern me too much. And he's getting hurt by wrap, which is nice. The thing that's crazy though is I thought normally like when you use charge as an electric type, if you use an electric type move, you lose the charge. I didn't realize that you like kept the charge. It seems like he's keeping his charge going. I don't know if that's if that's fair. It's, oh god, he, that did so much damage. Yeah, his charge is actually boosting his special attack every, every time even more, which I'm finding to be pretty interesting. 
I'm gonna go for a, uh, a potion this time. I don't think they'll stop me from doing that. Um, and let's see, he's gonna spark again, but that shard is really, oh, that didn't do as much. Maybe it was a crit and I just missed it. He gets freed from the wrap. I'm gonna probably wrap one more time. He's gonna spark again, which is doing a lot of damage, dude. It's like definitely doing a lot, but we can definitely stall him out, so it's not too big of a deal. I can also switch in a Sparky here, but I think my best play is to just Struggle Bug. He's gonna Spark, but we do live, and Struggle Bug will knock out the Luxio. So we get rid of that thing. Um, it was pretty scary because he was setting up with Spark and stuff, but otherwise we had that we had that on on, on lock. Oh, maybe he lured again and I didn't leered again and I didn't see it. Hey, here's a Corefish. Corefish is pretty strong. Um, I do have to be cautious. Like I definitely want to go Sparky. But if he goes for like a vice grip, that's gonna hurt. I think I'm gonna go for it anyway, because I'm pretty sure we can live one and I can go for the electro ball and just one shot this thing. He's gonna bubble beam, which is probably not that bad. And an electro ball should actually just one shot this core fish now that I have the light ball. Yeah, it does, okay. So what is his last Pokemon? I know it's the starter, I just don't remember which one it is. Uh, I guess I'll remember, It's I think it's the Charmander, right? Yeah, he's got a Charmeleon now, which is ghost and dragon type. So we gotta figure out what we wanna do against that. Ghost and Dragon. You know what though? Our starter is just amazing against that, isn't it? It looks amazing though. Look how cool that Charmeleon looks. Ghost and Dragon. Uh, I think we're weak to Ghost though, right? Yeah, we are weak to Ghost, but it didn't really do too much to us. And I can go for the Fairy Wind or I can Leech Seed him. I'm gonna Leech Seed him. I could take a Shadow Sneak, uh, which is fine. And I'm gonna Leech Seed him for the long game here. And that'll help us out against like his whole team. And then I can actually switch out to something that could take the Shadow Sneak a little bit better, which is probably Everest. So let's try switching into Everest here. I don't think he has like Pursuit or anything. I forget that we're weak to Ghost, but he goes for the Shadow Sneak again. It does a decent chunk, but nothing that's too concerning. And I'm just gonna Rock Blast. He's gonna just keep Shadow Sneaking. Yeah, I love the design though of this uh, Delta Charmeleon. It looks pretty sweet, but big damage there with these Rock Blasts. Big damage, and we're just gonna straight up knock him out. So our team definitely is very good levels for this because I was I was told that this is pretty tough and Sparky wants to learn Thunder Wave which is pretty solid actually I'm gonna get rid of play nice I don't want to get rid of Thundershock just yet until we get something better because Electro Ball is good but against fast opponents is not as good obviously I should look at like kind of the breakdown of how that works but um so we got the final match it looks like and it's gonna be me against Nora who would have thought that I'd be facing Nora the girl that we found in the cave with her Celebi and she's got three Pokemon kicking it off with a Bayleaf so she's got some grass types. Now, I would normally want to battle this thing with, with my homie here, but I think I should be going into Ruby um, or Batgirl. Actually, Batgirl should be able to take on Bayleaf pretty well, if I had to guess, because Bayleaf is pretty, like I resist four times, so it shouldn't do too much to us. So we could just wing attack. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just go for the wing attack. He's gonna growl, so it's gonna be a bit of annoying to try to beat this thing, but, oh, we actually get a crit there. That was nice. But if she just has grass type Pokemon, that's cool with me. Because Batgirl is all over it. I mean, I'll have to switch out because of the growls, but either way. I wish I had some boosting move like Swords Dance or something right now. That would definitely help, but it's going to live barely. Uh, and it's going to synthesis up, which is mildly annoying. I have a feeling we're going to have to deal with that a little bit. That's the thing that stinks about Batgirl is her nature is not very good in terms of her speed being reduced. I think it won't be the worst thing in the world later in the game once it evolves. But right now, it is very annoying that we have such a reduced speed stat because we normally would be faster, yada, yada, yada. But now we basically have to get a crit to try to knock this thing out or it's going to just keep synthesis stalling us. It's going to miss the Razor Leaf. I'll take it. Let's see how much this does. Can I get that crit, please? It's going to growl. It only has a few synthesis. If I get a crit, we'll be good to go. That's not it. Okay, don't synthesis this turn. Uh, okay, it's going to synthesis this turn as I asked you not to. So please don't do that this time. Don't, oh, okay. Well, you only have so many of them, so I don't know how many times you're gonna do that. You, I'm like doing no damage. Okay, I think we're gonna switch out. Let's go into, let's go into Ruby, because I don't really think Bayleaf can beat Ruby, especially if I start going for rollout and stuff. It's gonna growl, that's fine. I think I'm just gonna roll out. Is that a poor decision? Yeah, let's just go for it, dude. It's a bay leaf, man. Like, I don't think Razor Leaf's gonna do much to me. There's a synthesis, that's fine. You could stall synthesis all day. We're gonna start building up this rollout here. Let's see how much this Razor Leaf does. It didn't do too much, five damage, so. And with leftovers getting back, we're gonna get some health back. He's gonna keep growling us, which I don't mind, because I think rollout is gonna like multiply faster. Anyway, here's another Razor Leaf, which isn't doing much. Rollout doing a lot, and this should 
I don't know, was that five turns of rollout? Is it resetting now? Oh, it did reset. Well, that's annoying. That's kind of annoying. Uh, well, now I'm stuck in a rollout, so I can't even switch if I wanted to. We're just going to be taking Razor Leafs all day here. Um, but we're almost... The good thing is, like, we'll reset pretty much right when we knock this thing out. Oh, there was a crit that I didn't want to see. And he lived. I'm actually glad he lived because I think this is the last turn of rollout, which means that whenever the next Pokemon comes... And we missed. Okay. Um, I'm going to actually wrap. Or struggle bug. It's going to Razor Leaf. That's fine. I know I can live. Wow, that did so much. Okay, cool. So we beat the Bayleaf, which is good. The thing was pretty scary. Ruby's holding it down, though. Has so much bulk. What else we got here? We've got a Trap Inch, which probably is Arena Trap, now that I think about it. Which is pretty inconvenient for me. Um, yep, it's got Arena Trap. So our attack is really reduced right now, which is incredibly annoying. I'm going to heal up Ruby to see what this thing does. He's going to go for Bulldoze. Okay, so it did a lot, but it, it didn't do, like, the worst thing in the world. Let's go for Wrap. I have enough potions that I feel like we can kind of work around this. Like, Wrap isn't going to do anything, but um, we'll at least, like, slow him down. And I can go for Struggle Bug here. He's got Rock Slide. That might be, that might be really bad. Yeah, that's going to be really bad. That's going to be really bad. We're going to have to do some serious potion shenanigans right now. Because I can't switch against this Trap Inch. So, luckily, I stocked up on potions before this tournament, because that would have been really bad. I kind of want him to not rock slide me. That'd be sweet. Don't use rock slide, dude. Use the other attacks. Use bulldoze. Bulldoze is way better. Um, I'm going to struggle bug. He's going to mud slap. Okay. That's actually not terrible. I'd rather him mud slap me than rock slide me. Hey, he's almost, we almost weakened him, actually. We almost got rid of him. Hey, he's going to rock slide and miss this time. If I don't miss, we're in good shape. Yeah, yeah, good job, Ruby. Dude, Ruby putting in some work right now. And what is the last Pokemon? It's a Seawaddle, okay. So that's not too scary. Uh, bug and Grass. What do I want to do? I mean, that's really a back roll situation. So she's got two Grass types and a Ground type. Here's a Razor Leaf, but back roll should just eat these hits. Yeah, I could just, I think Wing Attack probably just one shots. I'm actually surprised. I really thought that this was going to be a little bit higher levels, but I don't want to jinx myself. Like, I'll take I'll take the win. I'll take the win. I've been training up every episode just to make sure that we don't get caught off guard by super strong Pokemon. So it hasn't been that bad. It's been like I spent like a half hour just grinding really quick with the speed up button. It's not that big of a deal. Both the trainers put up a great fight, but our very own A-Drive was able to come out on top. Congratulations, A-Drive. You have certainly earned today's title of champion. That's all the time we have. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's contest. We hope to see you again soon. As usual, fantastic tournament. It looks like our usual champion, Nora, has been toppled. Congrats to our new champion, A-Drive. Next time we have a tournament, I guess we all know who to watch for. Don't forget, everyone, if you study hard, maybe you'll be able to win the next one. So crack open those books and get down to it. Sweet. What a tournament. The battle between A-Drive and Nora in the final. Well, I guess that I was off my seat with excitement. The battle between A-Drive and I was pretty good too, right? It was okay. The final was far better. Oh, all right. Anyway, A-Drive, I'd like to give you this TM as a reward. And we got the TM for return, which is pretty nice. You can teach it to anyone, and the more the Pokemon likes you. Uh, our TM's future uh, one-time use. I was third. Can I have something? No. <laughs> I was really impressed with your skill, A-Drive. You're headed west. Why not stop in Sun Touch City? There's a gym there led by a young trainer named Orion. He specializes in fire types and grass types, but much less so the latter. But much less so the latter. So the, the latter is grass, so that would mean he has more fire types. If you want to be a strong trainer, getting gym badges is a key to improving your skills. I highly recommend it. That's what I'm doing, A-Drive. Now that I've seen that I'm not the only one who, you know, never mind. But I feel more comfortable taking risks and honing my skills. I guess it's a race. You too, huh? What's your name exactly? My name is Damien. Right, Damien. I'll see you both in Sun Touch City. All right, so that was pretty good. We were able to beat, beat Nora and uh, become the champion of the trainer school. I do need to heal up the team because we are a little bit weakened. And I got the TM for return, which is actually not terrible. There's a few Pokemon on the team who could benefit from it. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily teach it to them now, but let's go heal up really quickly. I don't think I need a potion stock or anything. I think we're good. I had like eight from last time. So we should be able to just kind of continue our journey to the next area, which does mean a new opportunity for a capture, hopefully, and heading towards the first gym, which I heard is pretty tough, guys. Uh, so as always, I've been reading the comments. You guys have been super helpful in the comment section with giving me ideas and things like that. But spoiler free, of course, keep them spoiler free because that's super duper appreciated. 
But I think we can go this way now, and this is the guy was blocking our path before, and this will take us to the next area. And uh, we're on Route 2 now. Brand spanking new area, Route 2. So we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna put Asparagus in the front. We're gonna find out what Pokemon will be added to the squad right now. Duplicate's Claws is, of course, in effect, and it is gonna be a Totodile, which is really sweet, because we could totally use a, uh, a Water-type Pokemon. I'm gonna Fairy Wind. I don't think that'll knock him out. Yeah, it doesn't knock him out. I Do I dare risk a second Fairy Wind? I don't think I'm going to. I'm gonna go for the, um, the Hypnosis and put him to sleep and then try to catch him from there. But I have a tough decision. Who do I even want to get rid of on my team right now? Like, I really feel like I should add Totodile to the team. He's about to be a Croconaw, and Croconaw is not bad. Uh, I'll go for a Great Ball and see if we can catch him this way. I may have to attack him again, though, which is fine. Yeah, we, he broke out. So I'm going to go into another Pokemon and weaken him a little bit more. Um, let's go to probably Batgirl, because I can, like, Astonish and stuff. But Totodile is a really cool Pokemon. I've never really... I mean, I've used Feraligatr before, but not, like, extensively, so... See how much his bite does. Ow, dude, that was a crit. All right, we're gonna go for Astonish here. He's gonna go for a bite. Ouch. That does so much damage, I gotta switch now. Um, who can I go into? I don't really have the best options. I guess I'm gonna try to just catch him again with Asparagus, put him to sleep. Although, bite, yeah, bite's neutral, so I guess it's not too bad. We, should, we have potions, too. He's got Rage. All right, let's put him to sleep with Hypnosis, because I definitely wanna catch this thing. Um. All right, so let's go and let's try a Pokeball. He's asleep and he's below half, so let's see. I don't know what the starter catch rate is, but I'm assuming it's pretty low. One, two, nope. Nope. All right, I'll try the Great Ball this time. I really want to catch this thing. I I'm hoping that the Great Ball will do it. Come on, stay in the Pokeball, buddy. Come on, buddy. One, two, three. Oh, he broke out again. He broke out again, dude. This thing does not want to be caught. Right, let's try this again. We're gonna catch him, guys. We are gonna catch him. If I have to weaken him, I can switch and weaken him with other Pokemon. Dude, this thing does not want to be caught. My goodness. He's gonna rage again. I'm gonna Hypnosis, put him to sleep. I'm just really not wanting to weaken him anymore because I don't want to knock him out. If I have to, I mean, I can Shuckle and go, um, Go for like struggle bug. One, two. All right, we gotta weaken him more. Um, this isn't working. <laughs> this is not working. Okay, so let's go in a shuckle. I know I'm weak to his water move, but it's it's not too big of a deal. Like I'm a couple levels higher and I'm a shuckle, so we should be able to take the hits pretty well. He's gonna bite, which really doesn't. It was a crit too. That's so strong. Um, and we're gonna go for struggle bug because I don't I don't think struggle bug knocks him out. The struggle bug's like a really weak attack. He's gonna bite again. He crits me again. Struggle bug. That was good. Do I dare go for one more? I'm gonna do it. I really hope this doesn't knock him out though. Oh, goodness. Dude, I got so scared for a second. I thought I was about to knock him out. All right, now we should be able to put him to sleep and catch him. Now we should be good. I hope. We should be in good shape this time. He's gonna go for bite which hurts, but I will Hypnosis and miss, of course. And he's gonna Water Gun, but we do have the Reduced Special Attack. And now we put him to sleep. Now he's gotta stay in the Pokeball. There's no, there's no messing around now, buddy. You're staying in the Pokeball this time. Finally, we caught this thing. Oh my goodness. I was really worried we weren't going to catch him at all, to be honest. We finally caught him, though. So, Totodile is added to the team. Despite its small body, Totodile jams are very powerful. While it may think it's just playfully nipping, its bite is enough strength to cause serious injury. So, we've got a great name for this guy, and that is Irwin after Steve Irwin, of course. Uh, and we're going to go check him out on the PC because oh, I got to grab this item here. We got an ice heal. We got to go check him out because I definitely want to add him to the team, even though it's a tough decision on who we get rid of. And there's a Meryl, so we could add a Meryl, but you know what, I'll take the Totodile. I feel like Totodile's a really cool Pokemon. So let me do a quick cut to the PC and I'll be right back. All right, so here is our Totodile. He's a lonely nature, which isn't terrible. 
And he's got some okay stats. His attack IV is really low. But Water Gun, Rage, Bite, and Scary Face. I feel like he's too good to not put on the team. Uh, because when he turns into a frog, he's going to be really powerful. We have a tough decision to make here. And I'm leaning, actually, because we have two Psychic types. I'm going to actually say goodbye to Abby for now. So I know Abby could be really good later. And we very well might put it back on the team at some point in time. But because it's such a frail Pokemon, um, and we already have a Psychic type on the team, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. I really like... The other Pokemon we have, I mean, I know we have two rock types and stuff, but to me, that just makes the most sense. So we're going to kind of progress this way. And again, there are always in the PC if I would like to kind of add them again. I did also stop at the market and grab more potions and Pokeballs just to be safe kind of moving forward here. So we should be pretty good. So let's talk to this dude. A young trainer, do you enjoy fishing? Ah, I had a feeling we were going to get the fishing rod, uh, which I think may give us some other encounters if I were to like go backwards. I'm not positive. Um... I mean, technically, I guess. So I'm going to try to train up Erwin, though, because he is our lowest member. So we'll use him in some battles here. It seems like they really want us to get a water Pokemon here, which is nice. Uh, this guy especially bred Pokemon to be genetically superior. Oh, boy, he's one of those breeders. He's got a Pig Knight. Jeez, dude. I don't know if Erwin's ready for this. I'll go for the Water Gun and see what he's going to do. He's going to Flame Charge us, which didn't do too much. He gets the speed boost, though. He was going to be faster anyway, so... See how much our water gun does. It doesn't do too much, but we might be able to beat him. I think I'll stay in, because if we beat him, we'll get so much experience against this pig knight. So, let's see. He's going to ember, which is fine. Yeah, that's really not too big of a deal. Just don't burn me. And we get some good damage off there, and he's going to defense scroll. So, good draw of Erwin. His first battle is against an evolved Pokemon, a pig knight, and we were able to beat it. So, I'll take that. I'll take that all day. He gets 744 experience. Can I face you all the time? I think he evolves at 18, actually, now that I think about it. But here's a Servine. We are definitely not taking on that thing. We are switching 1 million percent to Batgirl. But watch it have Contrary Leaf Storm, dude, at level 16. He said he bred them, so Leaf Tornado. Okay, so he doesn't have Contrary Leaf Storm. But all right, we'll Wing Attack here. He's going to Growth, but I think our Wing Attack, like two Wing Attacks, should be, should be good. Maybe three, but probably two. Ooh, that's close. He's going to keep Growthing, but I don't think he has any, any good attacks. That can really hurt Batgirl, so... And we just get a crit, so it doesn't matter. I'll take it, but the experience we're about to get is going to be sweet. 349, dude. I love it. Wants to learn Confuse Ray? Yes, I will use Confuse Ray all day, man. Get rid of Supersonic, 100%. I love Batgirl's move pool. It used to be so bad, but the newer games have it way, way better. So that was pretty easy. Beat that Breeder there. Let's see what else is going on here in Route 2. I should really keep an eye out for, uh, like, hidden grottos, too. I'll have to, like, look around and make sure I don't miss them. Keep my eyes open, man. Keep my eyes peeled. I gotta remember to do that. Are you a trainer? You're up against Youngster Michael. You don't stand a chance. All right, let's see what Youngster Michael's working with. He's got two Pokemon. A Pidgeotto. So these guys are getting pretty strong here. Uh, I definitely can beat this thing, but I'm gonna switch out into Ruby. I no, let's go to Everest. Everest hasn't gotten much action lately, and I can just Rock Blast. So that'll be good. And then once this thing evolves, dude, it's going to be sweet, sweet victory, man. Maybe not victory, but he's going to be really strong. And it'll help against the gym because grass and fire is the gym. So right now against grass and fire, like, Shuckle's pretty good. Um, I think we obviously have some some perks with, uh, with using Erwin as well against the fire part of things. So I think we're going to be okay. But we'll see. What else we got here? We got a Helioptile. That's pretty cool. I'm going to Rock Blast. I don't think Helioptile can beat me in one hit. So we should be good. Rock Blast should do a lot, too. Can I hit three times? Yeah, we can. Dude, Everest is a monster. That brave nature. And he's going to get so much experience. I got to say, they do a good job of giving you trainers that give a lot of experience to help you kind of level, level up. But what's up, Erwin? Erwin loves this tune so much. We're almost there. Grunts keep on marching. Uh-oh. Is that a cult? I don't know whether I should follow them. I'm as tough as they come. Get out of my way or you'll get hurt. All right, well, I definitely want to evolve this guy before we get any further. He's got a Flabebe. But I think Flabebe may have Grass-type moves, so I think I should switch out. So I'm going to go into Batgirl just because Batgirl is our lowest level. And I do resist the... Um, fairy moves if he's got fairy wind he does have razor leaf i had a feeling that he would have a grass type move i know this thing learns like a bunch of different grass moves and it's low level up pool 
And it's got Fairy Wind too, but I resist both those hits, so not a big deal. Wing Attack should do a lot to this thing. Eh, it does a decent amount. Lucky Chance, so I can't crit him. And Wing Attack will do pretty well. And we'll go for one more Wing Attack here. And that should get rid of the Flo Baby. That should be good experience too. I really want to get this Croconaw before I face whatever these cultists are doing, because they look like they're up to no good, man. Let's see what we got here. And a Jigglypuff. So I think it's Fairy type. I'll just Wing Attack, because I don't really think Jigglypuff is going to do much to me other than roll out. Oh, that did actually a lot. Okay, we're going to switch. <laughs> um, I think Sparky's actually a good switch here, just to get the experience. Although I probably could have went Croconaw, or Totodile. Play nice, that's fine. I want to see how much this does now that we have the Light Ball, guys. Electro Ball, let's see how much it does. The power, dude. The power. Electro Ball is no joke. And back rolls up to 18, which is nice, and Roughneck Quarry goes down. So we gotta just train up a little bit more. Who are you? The adults are doing important things. Buzz off. All right, so, and they're up here. So it looks like this is where we gotta kinda head to. But I definitely wanna train up and evolve my Totodile before I go any further. So let's battle a few Pokemon here. Let's see what we got. We got a Meryl. Little 15 marrow. What level am I? I am almost about to evolve, so this is totally worth it. Let's just do that real quick. And then I think I'm actually... I think I'm going to backtrack really quickly and just heal at the Pokemon Center so I don't waste potions and stuff. It's a bit annoying, but I think we can do it pretty easily. And then we're going to take on whoever that is. Maybe, I don't know. We're going to just kind of continue on this route for a few more minutes. So Irwin's going to grow to 18. That should evolve him, though. And it does, so we're going to get a sweet Croconaw now. Which I'm excited about, dude, because I feel like this is going to be a really good Pokemon. I feel like he's going to be really, really good. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty powerful Pokemon in general. It's got a good attack stat, decent natural bulk. That's one thing I really like about for alligators. He's got good natural bulk. So, for a Nuzlocke, that all sounds great. Does he learn any good moves? No? All right, let me go back and heal real quick. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're ready to rock. It looks like we got to head into this forest here. The Ancient Runes. Okay, let's take a look at our bag and just see if I have any good held items to give anyone. I, I don't, actually. So that's fine, but we'll just do our best here. There's some sketchy music playing as well. The Ancient Runes. Oh, we got a little, little dust ball over here. That's cool. And a tree that might be able to be cut. I'm not sure. And the ancient runes continue, and there they are. These are the ancient runes, guys. So this is where things are going to go down. I, I don't know. There seems to be a cult that just marched their way over here. So we definitely have to be careful of that. They got some Riolus or Lucarios outside. But I'm going to hold off. I think this is a good way to start the next episode, guys. So we beat the trainer school. We got ourselves a brand new Pokemon, our Totodile, which is now a Croconaw, which is super duper cool. We got our Light Ball. And you can check out the grinding montage here at the end of the episode if you want to check that out. Again, it's actually pretty funny. I ran into, like I said, I ran into that Diglett with a Metapod, and it just took forever. But otherwise, things are going well. Our training has been good. You guys can give me any hints or whatever, but spoiler free in the comments section below. Let me know what your favorite held item is, guys. Hit that like button. A thousand likes would be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Dan. I also go by Adrop. And I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Peace.